Patrick Tomlinson's chairs. Let's talk about them. Patrick um, alleged that a stalker, gangster, thug, child had put his chairs up as free to anyone who would take a truck and come pick them out of his yard. And indeed, someone did do that. However, now he alleges that uh, the tr- the stalker children have gotten the best of him yet again because Habitat for Humanity came by and the ho- the furniture hollows just took his chairs <laughs> a second time, <laughs> stolen from him. And he, of course, went on Twitter and claim- uh, complained very loudly about how effectively people were trolling him uh, to bolster his street cred, I guess, that he is the most easily trolled man on the planet. And that, yes, if you do fuck with him, he will give you a reaction. He just wants to make sure everyone knows that as much as possible. Of course, Habitat for Humanity just sent him back his chairs. Actually, well, before I say that, spoiler alert, um, he decided to have a melty on Zitter about, uh, <laughs> about how victimized he was. He goes, Next, you'll demand to know what I was wearing, if I had anything to drink, if I clearly said no, and all the other outs horrible people use to justify, excuse, or minimize crimes perpetuated against innocent victims. The fact that you're a woman makes it all the more abhorrent. Which is him comparing Habitat for Humanity taking as stupid as fucking pallet chairs uh, with rape. <laughs> Literally comparing directly not as an exaggeration of the truth, directly comparing Habitat for her Humanity taking his Adirondack chairs out of his yard with a woman being sexually abused. Um, <clears throat> is this the full context or a different change? I don't use creativity when describing the facts surrounding your criminal friend's campaign of terrorism, Leslie. I simply directed... Simply, directly explain what is happening, because I don't need to create anything. No, fighting back against criminal stalking is not encouraging or bait. Yes, Leslie, you are blaming victims for fighting back. You are telling them it's their fault, that they're not good enough victims, that they couldn't say certain things or act a certain way, or they will deserve whatever crimes they suffer up to and including murder. You are mentally ill, Leslie. Seek help. This is why your life is already over, stalker. Enjoy prison. Very dramatic there, Pat. Luckily, bitch tits got his fucking chairs back. Look how fucking old he is, by the way. It's kind of hard to, like, when you read his tweets and you see the dumb shit he says and the profile picture he uses, you kind of think that he's, like, a young man, like, in his 30s or something. I don't know how fucking old he is. But, um, <laughs> why are his nipples hard, bro? Bro, you're, like, wearing that tight-fitting shirt where you're just, like, looking at your your nipples and shit. Like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see no Patrick nipples. Disgusting. Standing and sitting on his Adirondack chairs, taking pictures for Zitter. Nipples protruding. Disgusting. Poor showing. Um, I don't know. He just looks old. He looks like he's like 50 fucking years old now. Look at that. Look at that. Like, um, his hair. Hold up. Hold up. Let me do a thing real quick. I'm going to have to be careful. Give me a second. But uh, This is content. Just give me one minute to like. Figure out this content, okay? Mm. There we go. It actually worked perfectly. Okay. So. Stalker Child. So we're in paint now, right? So, like, you can see, like, this is, like, the outline of, like, his skull. Oh, God. Not going so good. Okay, here we go. Smooth hands, smooth hands, right? No, wait. I can kind of see like a, there's like a bump there. And then it goes up this way. And there's another bump there. And I can see this layout of like a skull. Kind of weird. But then, like, what's weird is that you can see like the, okay, like this, um, this dark line? Like, that's like the middle of his skull? Like, parts through his head? And it kind of seems wrinkled? It's like his brain is, like, unprotected. You know what I mean? 
and you can see like the the ridges, like the folds of his brain, like directly through his skull. Like he doesn't have a skull. Like his skin is just directly on like the the blood brain barrier or something. He doesn't have a skull there. It's really weird. There's something trippy about his fucking head. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like to me. Just a. Uh... I didn't know. I didn't know how else to more clearly <laughs> depict that, so I just had to scribble on it real quick. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>